at han må se at han har en skriv der i 90 kommer i fra Trondheim.
900,000 miles out here. And uh, what's the owner of the truck here? That's the owner right there. <laughs> There's a lot of wood jumping in there. It ain't, it ain't. This chain, this chain was jumping. That chain is hard to move it down. So we've been asked by NMF to do a little testing here at Champ Truck. Today we got the opportunity to test it in a couple different areas. We uh, had Optima Truck, which has been going through a lot with a new driver. The transmission's been heating up. We started out today at 147 on a 15 minute run, 182 on a 20 minute, 173 on a 20 minute. We then drained down, put in NMF, and ran a 35 minute heat, and the worst part of the day, probably 95 degrees, track temperature was 125, and the temperature in the transmission actually dropped to 160 degrees. So, that's pretty good results. Um, we also did, earlier today, we tried it in our Drago truck, which is 14 liter also, and we pumped up the horsepower, and during practice, we had 170. During heat one, after 20 minutes, the oil temperature was up to 198 in the engine. We then ran, NMF in heat two, 20 minutes also, and the temperature dropped to 180. And during the final heat trophy dash, which was 35 minutes, it came back in at 180 degrees. So, so far the testing's been pretty good. Pretty darn satisfying. Hi, uh, Chris Callison here with uh, Champ Trucks here. We have uh, been uh, evaluating that NMF uh, product here on some of our trucks. Uh, today we're with uh, Drago and we uh, decided to use it on our differentials. We uh, went with our, what we had in there first and it took temperature off the first heat. It uh, came out 156 degrees and then uh, later after that heat we uh, put the NMF into the differentials and ran it through another heat. After that it came out we were having elevated temps in the power steering pump in the uh, number 11 Optima truck. We had 204 degrees on the pump itself and 194 degrees on the dashboard. The actual fluid. Uh, we added out two ounces of NMF and after the last race we came back with a pump temp of 182 and a reservoir temp of 172. Today we're going to show you how to apply NMF ionic friction reducer to a semi-truck. First I'll tell you a little bit about NMF. If you're not using NMF in your trucks, friction is costing you way more than necessary in replacement parts, maintenance, oil, and fuel. NMF is scientifically unique. It's the only product which reduces friction and makes vehicles and machines run more efficiently uh, by removing the cause of friction. Friction is caused by a negative positive bonding and attractive electrical relationship. NMF reverses that into one which is negative negative, uh, repelling and non-frictional. Whenever the uh, NMF molecules come into contact with uh, a frictional field, uh, caused by either solid objects like motor parts or liquids such as fuel or radiator fluid, the NMF molecules release electrons. The result is a same charged, non-frictional operating environment. NMF is not coating your engine or parts with any slippery liquid or solid particles or goo. Motor coating is uh, not healthy because it traps hydrocarbon residue from combustion to your engine and static electricity uh, attracts uh, that hydrocarbon residue with um, metal particulates into crystals of abrasive grit which scrape away at your engine and your parts and uh, so that's an unhealthy situation so you, you don't want those things coated onto your engine. NMF uh, repels 
the residue away from itself and away from the compartment so it's suspended in the oil and so it comes out cleanly in an oil change. So that's how NMF works. So the mixture rate for the engine is one ounce per quart of oil. Uh, in the power steering you put a total of one ounce and in the radiator also one ounce. Now NMF will make the engine run more efficiently and it will clean it. Now how's NMF going to clean your engine? Before you use NMF, uh, due to static electricity, uh, contaminants have been clinging uh, inside your engine. NMF same charges your engine compartment and the uh, contaminants uh, so that the contaminants are repelled away from your engine compartment, suspended in the oil, and they'll come out cleanly in your oil. So the first time you change your oil after applying NMF, your oil will be dirtier than usual because all of that stuff has come out. Afterwards, when you continue to use NMF, your oil will be cleaner. You will see through oil analysis that you have much less wear, much less in terms of metal particulates in your oil. Now, the same thing occurs with your radiator um, in that without NMF, you have mineral deposits that want to cling to your radiator and make it less efficient. NMF same charges the radiator and those mineral deposits so that they are repelled away from your radiator and suspended in the radiator fluid. So the radiator functions more efficiently uh, with those things on the radiator. And the second thing that NMF does for the radiator is it just makes the uh, radiator fluid flow more efficiently without a frictional relationship with the radiator itself. Mixture rate in the fuel is one ounce per 20 gallons. Now, why would you put NMF in the fuel? Uh, whenever the fuel is forced through the small opening of the fuel injector, that generates static electricity. And the static electricity uh, causes the uh, fuel droplets to be larger and thus burn less efficiently. NMF, by removing the static electricity, allows the uh, fuel droplets to be smaller. You get more oxygen to fuel ratio and a more efficient burn. It also uh, will clean out the uh, fuel injectors. So now we're going to apply NMF to the transmission. It will be uh, 16 ounces. Okay, next is uh, application to the uh, differentials. You'll put 12 ounces into each pumpkin. And uh, on the back here, you've got a uh, plug, and you can use an automotive syringe to put those 12 ounces in, just like this. Okay, now we're applying NMF to the fifth wheel grease. See when you got, if you don't have anything on that, It'll be metal to metal. It'll be hard to turn because it drags. But when you got this on her, you don't even notice it. It's like nothing there. So what we do is you add one ounce per side here uh, for the front hubs. Let's say you want an inexpensive way to test uh, how well NMF works to see if you want to use it. Get an infrared thermometer and uh, measure the temperature of your hubs, the operating temperature after you've driven a certain distance, and uh, then put one ounce of NMF in each hub. Then measure uh, the operating temperatures after going that same distance. You'll see a significant drop in the temperatures here. And uh, when you have a drop in heat, that's an indication of a drop in friction. So this is an inexpensive way for you to evaluate whether you'd like to use NMF. So this has been an explanation of how to apply NMF to a semi-truck. If you have any questions, please call us or email us anytime. We'd love to hear from customers or potential customers. If you're interested in NMF but you uh, aren't real familiar with it, uh, I invite you to test NMF through any method that you believe is an effective measurement of friction reduction. You can measure heat reduction, vibration reduction, noise reduction, uh, oil longevity, fuel economy, increase in horsepower, decrease in blow-by, all of these things 
would give you a feel for is NMF working well or not. Again, thank you and go NMF.